we're going to take a look at some 3D scan data of this Nefertiti uh, bust here. And this one, right off the bat, 2 million triangles, so very high res uh, raw scan that we're going to optimize down. So we're going to select this mesh, and from our previous examples, um, we're going to use the fuzzy face count target as normal, and just everything as default. And with UVs, we're going to set this to on auto, or we can set it to organic since this is a, a, a much rounded rounder surface than any other ones we were looking at before. So we'll just hit UVs and now we'll hit remesh selected meshes. And so this is going to take a minute. This is 2 million polygons. Um, this doesn't have any UVs. It has no color textures. Um, so what we're doing right now, the push of this button just with the default settings is we're creating a new low polygon mesh based on the fuzzy face count of normal, which is a good target for PC or, or console games or real-time applications that would run on your PC. And then we're using, it's uh, making that low poly, unwrapping that low poly, and then it's going to bake all of the textures that we set, so the, the normal map. And I'm making out a 2K texture. So uh, this is gonna take maybe a minute or two minutes because this is two million polygons of this raw scan data. So. It, it's, but it's gonna be very, very quick. So you can see that it's almost done here. And right there, 41 seconds. Uh, in 41 seconds, we took a 2 million polygon mesh and we created a new low polygon mesh that is now uh, 5,400 triangles. And we picked, uh, we unwrapped it. So we, it, has, it has UVs now. And it also has, um, uh, normal map. So what you can see right here is I don't have the normal map turned on. We're looking at the uh, just the low poly mesh compared to the uh, 2 million polygons, so 5,000 versus 2 million. And now we can turn on the textures and we can see a very, very nice result between the two. So you can see all of these details that got picked up in the normal map and in the ears and the nose looks really, really nice. And right up at the top, you can see that all of these bevels around the corner were really, really well done, even to this uh, chipped out version right here. So everything turned out really, really nicely uh, for this first version here. And one of the things to note is that all of the hard edges, so hard edges are being implemented in here, um, but we also uh, insert normal splits. So if you have a hard edge, you get a new UV split. So if there's a UV split, you get a hard edge and vice versa. So between those two. And you can see that we do have uh, seams running through the face, but you can't, you can't see them. They're very, I can't find them. I already lost where it's at. So it's yeah, right, right above the eye there. And you can see uh, down in here, it created these hard edges in here for shading reasons, and then it split the UV shell. So if we find these inside of here, we can see that we've also have a UV split. So we have hard edges along with these UV splits. And if we come up to the top, we can see we've got some up here, all right around these corners, and everything turned out really, really nicely for us all the way around our entire mesh. So really, really nice on wrap there and a low poly model. And so with those UV splits, you know, those are those are going to give you are your seamless normal maps because you have a hard edge and a UV split there, which is going to create that nice padding around your UV shells. And that's going to give you that seamless workflow for those normal maps. And so we should really look at this thing. Um, you know, if we, if we want to look at it a little bit further, we can look at it with a Fong shader. So. Uh, and just to see what it looks like. So right now we're looking at Lambert. We're getting, you know, very flat looking at the normal maps, but uh, Fong is going to show us some, a lot of highlights and we'll change this one. So it's nice and shiny, like the one next to it. And we can see the two side by side. So you can see the bevels are picking up all the highlights. Everything's turning out really nice all around here uh, for this mesh. And now we should take a look at this uh, and show one of the other resolution. So we're going to take this 2 million polygon mesh here, go back to Insulad, and um, from one of the previous versions we, sh we showed that 
by changing the resolution of the surface construction, um, less detail is going to be uh, modeled out and with this lower resolution. And so a lot of the ins and outs are going to get uh, covered up into more of like one single mesh um, surface, so flat surface. So if there's lots of ins and outs and undercuts, that's going to turn out a little bit flatter at this lower resolution for the surface construction. So we'll just go ahead and hit uh, remesh selected meshes. And again, this only uh, took a short period of time last time. So we'll just let this finish. All right, so this one is done now with the lowest resolution. And what you'll see right away is that a lot of the details that were there before, like the nose holes were modeled out in the last one, the uh, cuts into the inner ear and the eyelids and everything were part of that last mesh. That last mesh was uh, 5,000, a little over 5,000 triangles, and this one is about half that number here. So we have about half um, at 2,700 triangles. So we'll change this one as well to be a uh, fong so we can see the highlights on everything. And you can see we have a really nice mesh right around those eyes. Everything's really nice and clean. We still have all the bevels showing up. And if we look at our UVs, all of our hard edges and UV splits are there. So very clean on-wrap, uh, even with the splits through the through the face and everything, we're gonna be able to texture over those and make sure that we have a seamless workflow all the way through. So this is a great example, of taking some raw 3D mesh scan data and very quickly one button, we've changed only a few options and we get the result we want. And this is, with these extra options in Instalad, you have a lot of control as the artist to control what your final resolution output is and how much detail you want in there and everything. So uh, lots lots to, to use in here and control your final output. So that's it for taking a look at remeshing 3D scan data at the push of a button.